So how do you cope after 11 months of this crap? So this week, instead of receiving my second COVID vaccination as a healthcare worker, as was previously scheduled, and then being able to follow it up with a night on the town with my best friend that I haven't seen in person for seven months. Instead, I had to cancel all of that while my husband is quarantined down the hall uh, with a case of COVID. And so here we are, locked down again with the same people and the same four walls. And I'm sharing this because I'm talking to so many people in similar situations who have hope out on the horizon. They can see better things coming, but here in the present, things are still a lot the same, still heavy, still challenging. This is not what I thought my reality was gonna look like this week, right? So how do you cope when it's 11 months in and maybe some of your coping mechanisms are losing their, their magical power? Well, here's the only thing that I've arrived at this week. It's worked for me to have a quiet level of acceptance and then to run through an inventory of gratitude. I'm grateful that my husband's COVID symptoms are not life-threatening. I'm grateful I have access to health care and a pantry full of food when so many families do not have those privileges right now. I'm grateful for all of the support that has been coming in to uh, cheer us on. And the amazing thing is that as we pause and spend more time in gratitude, it shifts our perspective. Gratitude might not be the most exciting of energies. It's not supercharged like enthusiasm and joy. For me, gratitude is much quieter, but it does create an opening, a peacefulness. And John Milton is quoted as saying, gratitude bestows reverence, allowing us to encounter everyday epiphanies those transcendent moments of awe that change forever how we experience life and the world. So if you could use a new coping mechanism this month, try pausing and listing everything that you can be grateful for. And stay safe, everyone. I'm Angela Salsville, and I'll see you next week.